So this is Havoc OS 13th October 2018 built on the Redmi Note 5 Pro. So let me just show you the settings panel quickly. As you can see the settings panel is colorful as of Android Pie. And let's go to system and here you won't see the camera to API thing which you get like in most custom ROMs but it's not present over here. So if you want to use Google camera and stuff you have to install Magisk first then you can install like the camera to API then you can like install the Google camera APKs. So let me go into about here as you can see Android version shows as Android 9 as you can see let's go back and the Havoc OS version as you can see is 13th October 2018 and it says Havoc OS version 2.0 and the security patch is of October 5th 2018 and this is based on the pre-release 2 as you can see so let's go back and over here you will get the customizations inside this Havoc settings but let me show you the stock launcher first as you can see the stock launcher does have this google now cards to the left but if you swipe down like this it won't get you the quick settings panel but here is a quick settings panel and inside hotspot let me just show you here we do get the 5 gigahertz hotspot band let's go back and the launcher is smooth enough as you can see it's smooth enough for daily driving and swiping up just like this will get you to the recent panel as you can see and swiping all the way up will get you to the app drawer as you can see and one disappointing thing which I have noticed is that Google Pay or banking app simply doesn't work right away. Let me just show you. It's asking me to set it up again. Let me do that. And as you can see, it says Google Pay can't be used on this device. So that is really, really disappointing. Even though this is an official ROM, it shows Google Pay can't be used, which is really sad. But yeah, that's how it is. So now let me just go into settings again. And by the way, nightlight and stuff work super fine. Vaulty works super fine here, even though there is no Vaulty logo. The Vaulty works super fine. Let me show you the customizations here. All the customizations are inside this Havoc settings. Let's go inside this Havoc settings. Status bar. We do have double tap to sleep. We do have brightness control. Let me just show you as you can see. And the fingerprint scanner like is like pretty good. As you can see, the fingerprint scanner unlocks the phone pretty much quickly. As you can see, and you can control the brightness just like this. As you can see, you can control the brightness just like swiping on the status bar. And quick pull down option is there, smart pull down is there. You can customize the clock and date option. You have a lot of customizations for clock. And you can customize the battery style, you can customize the battery percentage position. We have the network traffic monitor option. And inside status bar logo, you can enable headset, Bluetooth, hotspot, etc. icons. Let's go back and we do get the bluetooth battery status option if you want to disable it you can and we do have this 4g icon instead of lte option now let's go into quick settings from here we will get this cola metro number customizations from here we get the brightness slider option auto brightness icon is there if you want to use that and you can disable the tile titles you can enable this vibrate on touch like the vibrate on touch quick settings toggle and a lot of options are there here again bluetooth battery status is there we have this footer settings icon let's go back inside interface we have the expanded desktop option we have the background color changing option which has the light dark and black theme and we have these like lot of accent color options over here we can adjust the font sizes from here display sizes and we can change the dpi and some dashboard customizations are there let's go into ambient display and from here you can enable the battery level always on display and all the ambient display kind of stuff if you want to use that inside screen we get the smart pixel option and you can enable this like screen stabilization if you want that 
inside buttons we do get this volume rockers customization as you can see let's go back inside power menu we do have this advanced reboot option and again lock screen advanced reboot option is present there too let me just show you as you can see advanced reboot option is there and over here we do get this like side or volume bar adjustment as you can see of android pi and screen of power button torch is there and as you can see it just works super fine no issues regarding the power button toggle torch inside navigation bar we have this navigation bar enabling option which is this one this android pi navigation bar and inside gestures in system gestures for this you need to just enable this swipe up home gesture which is already enabled on this rom and you need to flash like the micro g apps if you want to use these kind of things so make sure the minimum g apps you flash is the micro g apps like the arm 64 9.0 micro g apps and we do have option for this swipe to take screenshot three finger swipe and we have this swipe gesture option if you want to set custom gestures swipe up gesture is there for navigations and inside lock screen we have the double tap to sleep and media cover art option you can enable this lock screen visualizer if you need that we have some more options like pin ripple i don't know what is this and we do get this fingerprint authentication vibration we do have face auto unlock we have fingerprint unlock option like always use fingerprint scanner to unlock we have the lock screen charging info as you can see over here and we can disable the quick settings and status bar option from here let's go back inside recents you can change the recent style to default or omni switch so that is a good thing this clear all button simply doesn't work and the clear all button like is over here like aosp thing not a customization stuff let's go back inside notifications we do have this battery charging light option for do not disturb and stuff and what else we have this option to blink flashlight on call like whenever you receive a call it will blink this flashlight like miui so this is a great feature if you want to use that you can select it to always and you can disable heads up if you don't like it like me and inside misc we do have some more customizations like toast icon and stuff and we have some in call vibration option over here so that is a good thing i have enabled this vibrate on connect call let's go into weather here we have the weather customizations if you want to use that and the weather provider is google here and inside animations you can select like all over the ui animations you can disable animation transition if you want to do that and you can change every other animation of the ui from here you can select list view animation from here as you can see you can change it to wave or scale or alpha and you can select quick toggles animation to flip or rotate and for that you need to restart i guess and you can select this screen off animation to crt as you can see it does the crt animation so yeah all the animations are present over here and inside system we do have some more options like what is it allow signature spoofing show cpu info not really useful for me so let's go back and battery saving options are there inside miscellaneous we do have this wake up on charge disabling option so yeah that is pretty much it for the customizations option and now let me just show you the app open up speeds and ram management quickly on this rom let's open chrome file explorer facebook twitter play store instagram and as you can see the app on our speeds are fast enough and let's open all the apps again from memory and as you can see the ram management is fine though it feels a little bit choppy as you can see if you like notice it like from closely let me just show you uh, right now it's fine but sometimes it does do a little bit choppy animation but the app open up speeds are fine enough and the ram management is good as you can see even switching between apps is fine as you can see so no issues regarding ram management i guess and for the battery life i would say the battery life is mostly like 
I am getting like pretty good amount of screen on time. As you can see, I just got 3 hours and 21 minutes of screen on time with 75% battery left. And here is the battery usage from 100%. So it will definitely last you a whole working day. And it's gonna give you like 8 to 9 hours of screen on time maybe. So yeah, battery life is pretty good and gaming performance is like any other ROM. Gaming performance is pretty good, but you won't be getting like 8 hours of screen on time if you play PUBG. So that is that, you're gonna get like maybe 3 to 4 hours of screen on time if you play PUBG all the way. So yeah, that's how it is. And we do have the battery saver and stuff and if the battery status is worth closing on you, just go to settings and go to apps and notifications then just select the see all apps then just wait for a couple of seconds then click here or tap here and select show system then from here find the device health thing and as you can see find this device health services just tap on it then go to storage of it then just clear this storage then you can open this battery storage option or battery like battery status option i'm sorry so yeah that's how it is if it's force closing on you just clear this storage of this device health services which you will find by just like showing like the system apps so yeah that is that ram management is fine battery life is fine by default the battery is like not reachable i mean the battery settings it's like force closing every time so yeah that is that and by the way the google pay thing you can really use Google Pay, but for that you need to use Magic Skype, but it doesn't work like by default. So that is a like downside in my opinion. And the stock camera over here is pretty basic Google camera as you can see. And it's like really basic Google camera. I would have expected at least the Mi UI or Mi A2's camera, but nope. You can install Mi A2's camera app and like GC cam and stuff with magisk but yeah so that is that for this rom let me know in the comments below what do you guys think i in my opinion this is a good rom but uh, there are a lot of things that i don't like and i've replied yesterday that like havoc os is better than pixis os but in my frank opinion it's not it's totally not i will really choose pixis os over this havoc os let me know what do you guys think in the comment section down below so that is pretty much it for this video guys thank you so much for watching hope you have liked it give it a thumbs up if you did and subscribe to the channel if you have not yet share this video with your friends if you feel like it this is tiro from kerry and tech signing off for today i'll catch you guys in the next one bye bye now